Hi, I'm John Cash. Welcome to John Cash Ministries and Revelations Church's Daily Devotion. Today, the title of our devotion is When God Does Not Listen to Our Prayers. You mean there's a time, John, when God absolutely just doesn't even listen? Well, according to Scripture, yes, it's a drastic move by God that he makes, but there is a time. Now, we generally in America have this concept about prayer. Uh, God hears every prayer, and he either says yes, no, or wait. And generally, that is true. But there is a time when he actually says, I'm not going to listen. Look at Isaiah chapter 1, verse 15. The Bible says, when you spread out your hands in prayer, I will hide my eyes from you. Even if you offer many prayers, I will not listen. Now, that's pretty blunt, and it's pretty straightforward. You can spread out your hands in prayer. You can be all pious. You can decide that you're going to do many prayers. You can bang down the door of heaven, which we generally want to do. Yet, God says, you can do that, but I'm not going to listen. Now, why would God take such a drastic measure? Well, we find the answer to that in verses 13 and 14 of Isaiah chapter 1. So let's take a look at it. Here, the Lord Jesus says this, Stop bringing meaningless offerings. Your incense is detestable to me. New moons, Sabbaths, and convocations, I cannot bear your evil assemblies, your new moon festivals, your appointed feasts. My soul hates. They have become a burden to me. I'm weary of bearing them. Now, we're going to spend some time going through and dissecting that, but the general theme, the answer to why God would actually just stop listening is that the people that he's referring to here in Israel at the time, they were simply going through the motions of their religion. They were legalistic, pious, religious, and downright evil. They didn't care about worshiping God in truth and spirit. All they cared about was doing their religious duty and then doing whatever else they wanted. They didn't consider God really loved them. They certainly did not love God. They knew what God said through the law, so they did that, but their hearts were not in it. Their hearts were far from God. And God looked down from heaven and said, that's not going to cut it. There's no relationship here. And at that point, he says, I'm not going to listen to your prayers. Now, here in America today, we have the same thing happening. There's plenty of people who attend church, but reality is there is no worship of God. There is just the religious duty of being there. Their minds and hearts are far from God. They're living in the world. They're doing the things of the world. They haven't repented of their sins. And their prayers are not being answered. They're not even being heard according to Scripture. So as we delve deeper into this, he says, stop bringing meaningless offerings. They were bringing offerings. They were bringing the animals. Remember, they were in the sacrificial system. So they were bringing the animals. They were doing what they were told to do. But again, their heart wasn't in it. And God said, hey, look, if your heart's not in it, it's meaningless. Do you understand the significance of the, the shed blood here? Of course they didn't. It was totally just a religious practice. And God said, it's meaningless. Your incense is detestable to me. They would burn incense to God. But again, they were far, far away in their sin and their lust for the things of the world. And God says, that's detestable to me. And all of their religious festivals, new moons, Sabbaths, convocations, he says, I cannot bear your evil assemblies. Now listen, if you're part of a church, my prayer is that you're part of a church where God isn't calling it an evil assembly. And there are plenty of them out there. A church that's worshiping God in truth and spirit would be considered a righteous assembly. Now there's no perfect churches, but there are plenty of evil assemblies out there. He says in verse 14, Your new moon festivals and your appointed feasts my soul hates. Wow. Wow. Why is God not listening to their prayers? Well, look at these words, detestable, meaningless, evil assemblies. I can't bear it. My soul hates it. They have become a burden to me. I am wary of bearing them. 
So God, in short, is disgusted by what Israel was doing at that time. And again, they were pretending to worship God, but their hearts were far from God. We can't fool God. God knows our hearts. He knows if our worship is real. And if you want your prayers answered, and maybe you have some of this inside of your heart, understand God takes it very seriously. And I can promise you will answer this prayer if you are doing this. God, help me to be real with you. Help me to worship you in truth and spirit. And help me to become the kind of person I need to be. He'll turn his face right to you. And he will answer that prayer. God bless you. Thank you for your support of John Cash Ministries and Revelations Church.